your phone. Don't come any closer.
I need someone who can read this. I cannot enter. locked all right. Good evening. Good evening. 
I'd watched. Good evening. evening. Do you need... Don't get... I'm certain. In this letter, Mortimer Goswick does nothing to hide his desire to die. I could give it to his mother, but doing so would betray his trust. It's locked. It's locked, all right. Waste your time with me. Good evening, Doctor. Goodbye, Mrs. Good evening. I'm a... I've read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair while the world crumbles around you. 
Tell me more about it. There's nothing more to say, really. It's hurtful, it's unbearable, and I don't ask anyone to understand what I feel. The world is bleak, but maybe the pain we feel is the best compass for making it a better place. How can we repair the world, Dr. Reed, when mankind is the biggest problem? Yes, the world will be a much better place when we're gone. I have... I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening. Your son asked me to find this letter, Mrs. Goswick. However, I thought it would be preferable to give it to you. I already know what I'm going to read. Mortimer, why are you acting in this way? I have done everything I can to help you, but it's not enough. We will talk about this letter later. I understand that you need some privacy. Before you leave, take this for your trouble. Thanks to you, my son still has a future. I have read your son's suicide note. It was not an impulsive gesture, nor was it his first attempt. He threatened to kill himself a few times before. But I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life. But I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. Do you realize your son could try to kill himself again? He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. You're right. Your son's death was not fatal. And unlike many on their own, he is lucky to have you by his side. I can't give up on him. I just can't. I have conceded many times in my life, but giving up on my son is something I am incapable of. Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Tell me more about what you know. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place. But Why did your son feel so useless when facing the world? I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy facets of life. He couldn't help but dwell on such things. What do you think he meant by making the world a better place? Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. It's like he carries everyone's sadness with him. Goodbye. Good evening. Do you require... Do you know... This... Well, it... Good... I'm quite... Do you need... Don't be... Then you... I wait. Do you think Dr. Strickland has any chance of curing the Spanish flu by himself? His wish to cure the sick is not driven by pride but by an idealistic view about our mission here. Honestly, I don't know which is worse. You consider him a good practitioner, yet you will not report his methods. Strickland may be a rival, but I will not use dirty tricks or regulations to prove him wrong. We are doctors, not politicians. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Is there anything out there? Reed? Um, where? Good. Hold down, my boy. 